the building bears his name, but the legacy of Bill Finneran at Villanova goes far beyond the bricks and mortar. If you have great attitude through life and you smile and you laugh, you'll accomplish anything you want to do. Thank you for being, letting me be here. He was a person that really saw a vision for Villanova that was um, bigger than sometimes we allow ourselves to think about the place. And he always felt that we could do things better. And so he was really, really passionate about making sure that we did things the right way and that we didn't forget our past and the people that brought us to this place. The palatial home of Villanova basketball on campus is here because of the generosity of many and the leadership of one. And I am absolutely thrilled to announce that Bill continues his legacy of remarkable support with a $22.6 million leadership gift. He was always the impetus behind the importance of Villanova basketball within this community. The power of, of the marketing of Villanova basketball. He was a business mind and a, a great business mind. He took control at the board level to make sure everyone always remembered how important Villanova basketball was. The Finner Pavilion was kind of his last gift, but his influence and his spirit had, had been in the program and at the university for 34 years before. A project which took less than 18 months and continued the transformation of campus, born from the mind and generosity of one man. A monumental, historic uh, gift um, from, a, from a wonderful Villanovan I'll point back to, to not only Bill's generosity, but his inspiration behind the project. This wasn't one of those gifts where, hey, here, here's the money, go, go ahead and run with it. It was, hey, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. The official unveiling came last fall, and the dedication night contest was a rematch of the 2018 National Championship game. Michigan dominated the first half, and Bill dominated the microphone at the break. Yeah, it is who he is, and you, and you gotta love him. You know, you know exactly where you stand at all times with Bill. There, there was no, uh, no, no pulling punches with him, and, and I happen to love it. And at, at times it was hard, you know, at, at times it was hard, but it really important to, to all of us that we continue to represent his legacy here in this building. That's why this building has to remain what it is today. It has to remain cutting edge, and it has to remain a first class experience for everybody that walks in. And and uh, I, I know as long as it has his name on it, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna make that kind of commitment. Uh, they told me to be rather quick, and uh, they actually didn't want me to speak at all, but... <laughs> Let him suffer just a second. No, he was, uh, he was a guy's guy, man. He, he, he loved just to be with the guys and talk basketball and talk business and talk golf, play golf and travel with the Wildcats on two separate trips to Europe, sharing time with one of the groups which brought him joy. He was extremely dynamic in terms of his engagement with people at the university, his uh, commitment to students, to faculty, to staff. He had a great passion for the place. He gave so much to so many people here. A really bright guy, uh, a real visionary, a great businessman. A uh, great family man, loved his, his, his family, and they were all a part of us, too. If you pass through this life, and this means for all your basketball players and everybody else, you have to be able to look back and say, what did I do? What did I accomplish? And it's, as Mr. Wright says, it's all about attitude.